If you bought a new laptop or you're thinking about it, you probably noticed that most laptops don't come with a DVD drive anymore and you might want to save the old one from your current computer. In this video, we're going to look at why you might want to do that. More importantly, how. It's so easy, you're not going to believe it. Welcome everyone, I'm Mark. This is the Average Me Channel. New computers seldom have DVD drives anymore. And you might say, why do we need them? It's outdated technology. Well, if you're like me, you may have lots and lots and lots of movies on DVD and you don't want to have to repurchase and rebuy them. Maybe some of those movies aren't even available on the streaming services or for purchase. You might say, well, I could just rip those to my computer. How are you going to do it if you don't have a DVD drive? So in this video, we're going to look at how to salvage that DVD drive from your old computer and use it with the new one. It's really easy to do and it'll save you money. So first of all, what is a DVD drive? This is what it looks like. I am not going to tear apart a computer in this video. I'm rather going to show you what to do once you get your hands on this. It's a pretty simple process. Turn the computer upside down and unscrew every single screw you can find. Sometimes you have to remove the rubber feet. Sometimes you have to get in there with a screwdriver and pry the two halves open, but it will eventually come apart. You're getting rid of the computer anyway. The DVD drive, the hard drive, those are the main things you want to save before disposing of that computer. And in a previous video that I'll link here, you can see exactly how I opened up that computer and why it's so important to save that hard drive. In this video, we're going to look at the DVD drive. First of all, the DVD drive is usually really, really easy to take out because Generally, it's only going to be held in place with one screw. And here's a little bracket. I'm kind of fumbling to see how it was put on there. There we go. So this was originally screwed on. This little bracket right here was screwed right on to this. And that was the only thing that held it into that computer. That and the pressure of the plug. That was it. So once you're inside the computer, uh, if you take off all those screws, this is the only screw that comes out. It's pretty easy to figure out which one it is because it's about five or six inches in from the front of the computer. You unscrew that, wiggle this back and forth a little bit, and it will pop right out. So this is your DVD drive. This is what it looks like. It's easy to recognize and identify because it's the same door that you'll see on the side of your computer. And where this plugged in, I could push this button and the whole thing will pop open. So now I'm going to switch the camera. We're gonna get a close-up view. I'll show you how to put it in a case like this and you can use this as an external DVD drive. I laid an old towel out. This way I don't scratch my working surface and I don't lose anything. So this is the DVD drive. This is what it looks like. That part probably looks familiar because that looks like the door on the side of the computer. As I said, all you have to do is turn the computer upside down, take out every screw you can possibly find, and you will be able to take this out. That is right there how this bracket was attached. Tiny little screw came out of there. And when I say tiny little screw, this is how small it is. That tiny little screw came out and I was able to remove this bracket. But this was the only thing that held this entire drive in. Once I removed the screw from the bottom of the computer, I was able to just pull this whole thing right out of the computer. So this is what we have. And you see it just snaps right in to the electrical harness. So the first thing I want to do is remove this front plate. So in order to do that, because there's no power, I won't be able to open that door. I'm going to take a paper clip and right there, you're going to see a little hole and I'm simply going to push it into the hole and that door comes right open. So that's what your drive looks like. It probably looks familiar to you. You've seen that. Now, this is 
what I'm going to remove is this plate. And this front plate may unsnap. It's held in with two snaps and you might have to push on a lever in order to get that to come off. So I'm gonna get a little screwdriver and we're gonna pop that down. There we go. So that comes right off. And that was just this little lever here, right there. I had to push that in. I don't know, I had to push that in to pull it off. So anyway, now it doesn't have a faceplate. When you buy this, this is the case, and I will link this down below. This costs maybe 10 or 12 bucks. And this is the case that you're going to put the drive in in order to use this externally. What did I get with this? Well, I got this case, and you can see there is a cable that's built right in. This is a USB cable. And then it came with this faceplate. So I just took the faceplate off. Now we're gonna put this faceplate back on. And by the way, you will be able to make sure that it goes on right because one of these holes is vertical and one is horizontal. So all we have to do is snap that in place and we have a new faceplate, just like that. And you see there's still that hole there that I can open it up. Then what we're going to do is if you look in there, you can see, I don't know how well you can see it, but right in here, I can see where that is going to attach, where it lines up. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna work it in and I'm just gonna push it in place. That's all there is to it. It really is that easy. The hardest part is gonna to be to just take this out of your computer. Now if I pop that once again, that will pop open. But if there's power going to it, I can pop it open by pushing that button. All right, let's hook this up to a computer and see if this actually works. Okay, I've got my computer here. This is just a USB. I'm gonna plug this into my USB port. And look at that. You can see that it recognized it. The light started going on. And I see it recognizes it on my computer. When I push that button, it opens up. I can put the DVD in. And I can hear it humming away. You can see the light flashing there. So it's working. It recognizes it. So there it is, DVD, rewritable drive cycle. What do I want to do? Well, I can take my choice. I want to play the movie, and there you go. For copyright reasons, I'm not going to show the movie, but you can see it says DVD, and it is now playing. So it worked. So that's all there is to it. And I hope that you tackle this project. It only costs about 10 bucks and you will be able to play these DVDs that you may have accumulated over 10 years or more for a long, long time. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. Don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. I'm Mark and this is the Average Me Channel.